Hello and welcome to the Glass Gallery at City Hall. And the show tonight is surreal art. It's digital art, it's, it's photography, it's oil, it's pencil, it's sculpture. It's, um, it's a really interesting show and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it with us. So let's go see it. This super talented young man is Shiva 3D and this is his work. So Shiva, tell me about your, your triptych. Well, my triptych piece, I, I could say this much, I really enjoyed the piece. It's a combination of spray cans with acrylic paint. I love that. When I go to paint something like this, I really enjoy this because of the colors, the blending, the mixing, um, and the expression of it. I had a lot of fun with this piece. It, it was one of my favorite pieces, and I did this for Celebrity. And that piece is so different. It's, it's, it's not, you would never know that that is your work as well. And that has all kinds of symbolism in it. Yes. I enjoy symbolism because it used to be the formula for language before words right. were written. Right. And this piece right here, I wanted to express it. It's called Old Gods. It's part of the Sumerian culture. And it was a challenge that one of my friends gave, uh, you know, brought to the table. And I said, okay, let's go ahead and have some fun. So I ended up including star maps of the zodiac. I put Polaris, <laughs> the center point of the star, over my house and remapped the zodiac. I put in the whole entire story of the Nephilims. I wrote my name in Q form. I really enjoyed the piece because it represents so much of our time today. What we look at our past and we look at today's time, it's a complete merger recycled all over again. Shiva, you're a very talented young man. Thank you. And we're very happy to have your work hanging in our gallery. This is Eduardo Serpa, and these are his beautiful paintings. Eduardo, what do you paint with? Acrylic? Acrylic, oil, ink, that is coloring. Many different mediums. Many different mediums. Yeah, but acrylic and olio stand. And what inspires you? Different inspiration. I painted what I feel in, in, in response to the, the situation, social or personal, or whatever. I and don't have a line to work, you know? Yeah, but you can see that you're painting from your heart. Yeah, and I don't, I don't follow any style. You can see the difference between right. my paint. Looks like a five, six people different. <laughs> but uh, that is me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> and what you do is good enough. Yeah, I try. I try. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mayor Frank Ortiz is here. And proud he is, aren't you? Oh, I certainly am. Welcome to our great glass gallery. And this is a beautiful art exhibit. It really is. I'm just seeing all of the uh, pictures here displayed all week. Did you see it all? All saw it all. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Different. Very different. This is very different. But, but I it like works. It, it really yeah, works. I like it. I like it. I like it too. Isn't that strange? I mean, I went from Monet and Van Gogh to this. That's all right. And I like it. Yeah. <laughs> now this is very nice. It's catchy, and a lot of people are uh, coming and making good comments about it. Yeah. People are enjoying it, so that... That's good. That's good. That's what we're here for. Everybody enjoy it, right? You know what? This city brings every kind of art that we can find. And that's good. Diverse art is always good. Everybody's got a different taste. Yep. And and the more we bring, the more people begin to appreciate. Right. So. And you get a more diverse group and bigger groups, and we've got a nice crowd tonight as well. Yeah. yeah. So, thank you, Mayor Ortis. My pleasure as usual.
this is Larry Iglosh, and this is his. These are all his sculptures that are here, and they're they're really they're beautiful, and they're surreal, and they're a little abstract. And this one is the lovers. The lovers, yes. It, it's in the form of a heart. Yeah. And the two lovers. And this is alabaster. Yes, alabaster. Most of them are alabaster. And yeah. that's because you like to work with alabaster. Uh, yes, it's a lot easier than marble, which I'm working on now, and I'm sorry I started it. <laughs> but I'll finish it. And they're quite beautiful. Well, thank you. And you should be very proud of your work. Well, I am. Of course. Yes. Of course. So when you do finish your marble sculpture, we'd like to see that as well. Now that one is surreal, but I couldn't finish it uh, in time for the show. Maybe next year. Did it tell you what it wants to be? It was supposed to be or something else. did you else. force it? No, it was supposed to be something else, and when I laid it down, a piece came out. And I pasted it back in, but Ben said, get it out of here. The stone's trying to tell you something. Yep. And he was right. Yep. Because I hated it while I was working on it. It wasn't what I wanted. I was making it for somebody. And then I finally said, no. Yeah, the, the stone I know. Is not Every sculptor tells me the stone tells them what it yes. wants to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm, I'm enjoying working on it, whereas before it was... It was it was a chore. It was a chore because it wasn't what I wanted. It was what this person wanted. So good luck, Larry. Thank you very much. Keep working. Oh, I will. Thank you. My favorite man and most complicated artist is Peter Olson. And this is his work, only he's going to have to tell you all about it because I just love it, but I don't know what it means. This is a triptych. And this is from uh, Revelation chapter 17, it's 24 verses. So I, I did a painting on each verse. So this painting, this type of painting took me about a, a little over a year to complete. Well, because of all the research. All the research plus, and you know, if you went through it verse by verse, you could see that all the imagery is intact. This one here is called Dual Perception of Life's Journey. So here is the gate of heaven. What's the key to get into heaven? Um, the Ten Commandments, which is the basis. God, uh, cherries, life is just a bowl of cherries. All right, so that's inside. So outside, these are the ones that cannot get in. That's your liars, your murderers, seed of blood. Yes. Those who eat pork. Um, here are the tears of all those who are lost and here is, uh, I, I use this figure for idolatry. You know, like nobody is absent, ever absent from the temple of gold. And did that answer most of your questions? Yes, it did. Thank you, Peter Olson. Okay. <laughs> I, I hope it turns out good. It's you can gonna... edit this? You can edit this? Of course. <laughs> this is Benoit Menashe, who's our curator of art for the city of Pembroke Pines. And you got to be strutting your stuff about this show. I am very proud. I'm proud of the artist. The caliber of art that we have here Absolutely. is just unbelievable. And uh, I started uh, thinking about uh, surreal photography. And it developed... That's how it started. It developed into surreal uh, photography, a digital art. Uh, sculpture, uh, acrylic painting, uh, oil painting, everything. everything. It's a complete show that could go anywhere. It's and it's gorgeous. Any museum, and people will love it. It's, I'm very, very happy, very proud. You should be. Enjoy this show because it's it's just marvelous. But you know, I I really count on you. When you come and tell me that's a great show. I know it's a success. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is a great show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Isn't this a surprising show? Not what you'd normally see at the Glass Gallery, but I know you've enjoyed it. So for OCTV, I'm Elaine Kugelman, and thank you for joining us today for this exhibition of Surreal Art.